Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul video for you guys. I recently went shopping to Asda and also to Next and I've got a couple of big bags of stuff here. Some of it was online shopping and some of it was in store. Um, I'm going to link things down below for you so you can go and check them out um, if they're still available, which they should be because like I said I just picked these up recently. And it's just going to be kind of like a, a bit more of a chilled relaxed video today. Um, got lovely light streaming through the window here, it's a beautiful blue blue sky evening, so nice. And I have a Pepsi Max. So if you drink Pepsi Max, get yourself a Pepsi Max. If not, get yourself a tea and just chill and have a biscuit or something. I'm just going to kind of do a really casual video for you tonight and we're going to do tons of jump cuts and all that kind of nonsense. I'm just going to film it and put it up and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm just going to go with what comes to my hand first. And the first thing I've got here is some pants. So my son is potty training and he's doing quite well actually. He's having accidents still, but he's doing well, but I did need more pants because we're going on holiday next week. And I thought, you know what, you can never have too many pants. So I had him in the size one and a, one and a half to two years and I got him some size two to three years. So they're just like really simple boy pants. They've got little, these ones have got little wildlife on them, little lions and tigers. And they have like other patterns, which I think is quite cute. I tend to just get what Samuel likes the most, which is things like that. The ones he got before in the previous size were like vehicles. Actually, I've got some here. There were some like, some they're like vehicle ones. So they have this pattern as well. And um, this is from Georgia Asda. So yeah, they were like a pack of, quite a large pack for about two or three pounds. So I would say this is really, really good value because I have got them and I wasn't sure about the quality at the first, but I've got them and I've washed them the ones he's had and they've washed pretty well considering the amount of times I've washed them and the amount of like pee and stuff that gets on them so I think they're quite good quality for George. The next thing in here is actually not something that I personally bought um, my aunt bought him this for his birthday but I thought I'd include it because it's clothes and I forgot to include it in his two year um his two year birthday gifts video so what it is is a little t-shirt this is, all, this is size two to three as well. Most of the stuff in this video is going to be two to three. And it says, what am I going to be today? And it's got a little George pig on it. And I think this is really nice because sometimes it can be kind of hard to find boy Peppa Pig clothes because um, Peppa Pig can be quite girly and like pink. But I thought this was so cute. Samuel loves Peppa Pig, if you didn't know. He's into Peppa Pig. So this is from Nutmeg. I can't remember what supermarket that is. Um, but I'll put here what supermarket that is. That's so cute. Don't know how much that was because it was a gift. And then similarly, she opened my um, aunt also got him this little set. It's like a little pajama set. And I've already washed this. And it's dish. It's a. It says, "I've earned my bedtime badge." And it's a little bear. And then it comes with matching stretchy shorts. Again, little. These are a little bit too big. These are most of the stuff's gonna be a little bit too big for Samuel, but. Um, he's obviously going to grow into it and I did definitely need to buy him stuff so I don't normally buy stuff full price if you know me and you've watched this channel before I buy things at charity shops or second hand but since lockdown and all that happened I haven't been able to find anything really in charity shops the ones that are open in our area have not got a big, a big variety at the moment and then the charity marketplace I usually go to which is like stalls and it's really really amazing quality you usually get good things like this for like a pound obviously used but still really great quality and I haven't been able to go to that because it's not been on and I'm so sad because that's the stuff that I usually buy but it doesn't mean I can buy new stuff more expensive I wouldn't usually I wouldn't usually buy Samuel new stuff because you can buy such good second-hand kid stuff but because since I have to buy new stuff I thought I might as well show it to you guys um and see if you can get it if you want as well so it was a long rambly way of saying I don't like to buy new stuff but at the same time, it's nice, quite cute to have some new stuff sometimes. So, the next thing that I got. Speaking of charity shops not having much good stuff, I got one thing out of charity shop. This is a charity shop called Swaddle. If you are in the Glasgow area in Scotland, I know not a lot of you probably are, but if you're in the Glasgow area, this is a shop in Motherwell, and they do baby clothes mainly, and then like young toddler clothes and then some older toddler clothes, but it's harder. As a child gets older, um, it's harder to find good stuff in this shop, in my opinion. But still got good stuff. Um, this was 
£2.50 from this shop and it's a pair of joggers, so just simple joggers. I like the ones that have the little bits that go in at the feet, so I got that. Then I got pyjamas for Samuel, so I'll have to cut this off and show you maybe. Basically, it's a set of three pyjamas and three bottoms. These were three for £14. Asda, I feel like, is the best place to get um, clothes new cheap. This is the cheapest place I could find online that sell, uh, sold clothes in my um, in the UK. So I went for Asda. I've, I've looked a lot because I like to buy cheap stuff. And this is the cheapest I could find. So these were three for £14. And they have like a stripey bottoms and then like a matchy stripey top. And then there's a blue one that's stripey with the matching bottoms. And then there's a green plain one like that that's got matching bottoms. And they have little pockets and they're really cute. I quite like them. They're cute, they're very bright, definitely pyjamas. And yeah, like I said, I, I really like the ones with the little feet at the bottom that are like in so that they don't, if they are too big, they don't fall off them completely. So I got on this little, this little set of pyjamas. And then I don't usually buy stuff from Next New because Next stuff is really, really expensive. So yeah, but I thought seeing as I'm buying new stuff anyway, and it's kind of expensive in my opinion anyway to buy new stuff, I might as well go to Next and get some really, really good quality stuff. So that when the next baby comes along, we can also use the same pajamas and it'll still be it'll still be good. So I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them. And he's probably gonna wear these pajamas anyway for like two to three like the whole year. So it gets much more I feel like it gets much more worth it to buy new stuff as they get older, because when they're tiny they don't use the stuff very much. But when they're older, they use it a lot. All that to say, I got a pack of pajamas from Next. The ones from Next, the cheapest you can get is three pack, three pairs for about £25. I got these really, really cute set. Um, it's like loungewear slash pyjamas. It's not as like obviously bright as the other ones. So they have like these. These ones have got little, not zebras. I keep thinking they're zebras, they're not zebras. They're little snow lions, white lions, whatever they're called. These have sleeves that go in at the, t at the bottom. And then these ones have the same thing on them and little bits that go into the bottom. They do feel good quality. They're quite thin the material. So if you live somewhere super cold, like Scotland, it's not great for winter, I suppose, but I tend to put like a little vest underneath these anyway, and you have blankets, so it's actually fine. But yeah, they're quite thin, so they're still good if you want to use them in the summer as well. And it also comes with two more pairs of pajamas. They have this like mustardy colored one with monkeys on it. And then this little pair with elephants in blue. And I love this. I think it's like really, really nice just to have really nice pajamas because kids tend to spend a lot of time in their pajamas, I feel like, especially in our house. They don't always get dressed. So when they're spending a lot of time in pajamas, it's worth it, worth it to get a nice pair. And a pair that looks kind of really cute and almost just like loungewear. So cute. So that's what I got from Next. And I thought about it a long time because it was expensive, but Probably to other people that's not very expensive, but for me it is. But I love it. They're really cute. I want to wash them. It's going to be look so adorable in these. Oh, I can't wait. I got this order today from George.com, so just the online version of Asda. And Russell Russell Russell. The first thing that I got was I found these shoes. These are from the first Walkers range, they're called, and they were six pounds. And I'll take them out for you to see them better. And they are really good value for money, I think. George shoes tend to last a decent amount of time for me. And Samuel, these are size five. They seem quite big for size five, but they fit them okay and they'll have plenty of room for growth, so that's perfect. It's like the rubber bit at the bottom and then there's like the rubber bit here and they've got little teeny tiny lines on them. So that's pretty cute. And these are just a little pair of shoes for him to wear with some leggings that I'm about to show you because he's got normal shoes and he's got welly boots but I wanted to give him some of these as well because it's still kind of warmish here and we're going on holiday next week so you can wear these as like another option and they were really cheap so I thought that was a good deal I got on these trousers these trousers it actually says George for good on them I don't know if that means it's like a sustainable sustainable place wait um section of George it says sourced as responsible cotton, so I think it must be. It came in a two pack, two packs, two pairs for seven pounds. 
and it's these ones they're red they're actually quite big i feel like they're gonna last them quite a while they're quite big they're like they're like trouser material so they're not joggers i'm kind of getting sick of joggers for samuel i don't think he looks i, don't, I like them they're nice but jogger material i'm getting sick of them because i have so many pairs of joggers for him in the size down so i wanted to get something a bit different and these are like more smart but still really really um, functional because he's potty training so he needs to, they need to be really easy to get up and down so they're really long and then at the bottom they have these little kind of turn up cuffs and at the top they have drawstrings which are functional just to let you know because sometimes you get drawstrings that are just fake and that's no good so they're functional drawstrings so you can pull them in nice and tight and you can take the trousers up and down the pockets as well at the front the pockets are all functional pockets so let me just focus you better so yeah, so there's a red pair and there's also this grey pair, like this, exactly the same but just in grey and yeah, it's a decent deal for two for seven pounds and they're, they feel nice, de decent material, so I really like them. Next I got him, I found some pyjamas, these are the cheapest pyjamas I could find online, um, let me see what they're like, I've not opened them yet but let me see what they're like to see if I like them or not. So they were, again from the George for good, sourced as responsible cotton. They are worth £3.50 and they're like a little top like this. With diggers on them. I got them because he likes diggers. Samuel loves his diggers. Just very plain like a normal top. And then the trousers are quite big on the bum. So you definitely fit a nappy bum in there. And just at the bottom. So at the bottom, I knew I, I wouldn't like this as much. At the bottom they have these bottoms which are not the, you know, they're not, they're not the ones that kind of go in at the bottom. They're not like, they don't like this, which go in and stay nicely. So if they're too long, they're gonna toast in the floor a little bit. But for £3.50, they're okay. They're not amazing quality. I feel like I'm feeling them, they're not amazing quality. And they're really, really thin. But for a pair of pyjamas, it's gonna last them a little while. They're fine. They're quite big size as well, so there'll be plenty of room to grow in as well. So I got those, they were three pounds fifty. And I got a few more things. I got these leggings. I find it really, really hard to find leggings for little boys, for like little baby boys or even little toddler boys. So Simon's a toddler and he's still small and I like to put him in leggings with like tops that are slightly too big and a, and a pair of leggings and like boots or, the, or those little, these little shoes. I feel like they look really cute, but it's really hard to find them. So I go into the girls section and you can find decent leggings in the girls section at Asda. So these were eight pounds for a pack of two. And these are a pair of mustard colored leggings. They're like this, they have the nice bit at the bottom turned up. Let me see if I can zoom that in properly. Focus. So they're a little bit turned up and then they have that nice, what's it called? I don't know what that material that like knit pattern's called, but it has that. And they're like nice and cozy and they're not too long. These look like they'll fit a bit better at the moment. And then it comes with a grey pair as well. I thought they were really cute. And there's literally no reason why little boys can't wear these. So I got these from the girls section. And these were also from the girls section. These are more leggings. But again, are they from the girls section? They look exactly like boys. So these were £7.50 for a three pack. And these are like thinner leggings, like thinner material. And they are, the material, the pattern is like this. So, little dinosaurs in this pair. This pair is just grey. And in this pair is more dinosaurs, um, but blue. So, they look, like they'll, they'll look like, they look like they'll fit Samuel quite well too. Yeah, I don't know why they only have them in the girls section. The only have in the boys section that I can see in certain sites is joggers and things like that and trousers. But little boys need leggings too that are super comfy to wear. And I think that's everything that I got. I'm just looking around checking. That's everything that I got for the moment. I got basically just the things that we really, really need. Because I'm hoping that charity shops and market stalls and stuff are going to open up really soon. So I can buy some more cheap stuff. But I'm going to link everything down below for you guys that I can find. Um, so you can go check it out if you saw anything that you liked. I'm really excited. Actually, I'll show you the little kind of outfit that I mean with the leggings. Because I know people don't buy leggings for bigger children. But like you could have... This little Peppa pig top. You could have this little pair of mustard leggings underneath when it's cold. And you could have like either his boots or these little shoes. 
I think that makes a cute outfit. Anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you guys are having a good evening. And yes, I'll put some videos here for you to check out if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.